What's up, nerd leads? What's up, nerd leads? Do you nerd for double the VGM? Hey, do you nerd? That's right, I am Tom, this is Lady Lacey, and this is Do You Nerd, where we talk about all kinds of nerdy things, including retro games, such as the ones that we get monthly from Video Games Monthly, the subscription service that sends you retro gaming good lists straight to your door after you pick out a tier and populate a list of the games that you already have for the consoles and the handhelds that you want, and we fell behind, but it's not our fault, it's Joe and Grant's fault. It is, 100%. What did we want to do with the November box? Well, we and a couple other subscribers had discussed doing a group unboxing on camera at MGC, and Joe said, okay. Wouldn't that have been fun? But no, he was too busy screaming. <laughs> that means that we have two boxes right here. We have Novembers, we have Decembers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pit these against one another and see which was the better box. So my I dear, went December. easy enough. No, oh, yours has more of a bulge than mine. <laughs> Damn straight, I've got the bulge. <laughs> Although she uh, tried to murder the box. I cut a the box. Now stand back, I gotta practice my stabbing. <laughs> All right, so this is pretty simple. What we're going to do is uh, we're just going to kind of open this up. I'm going to see what's in mine. She's going to see what's in hers, but we're not going to let the other see until we kind of pit these games against one another. Now, I'm, I'm already pulling out ahead here because that is one fine bulge. So, oh, 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 oh. I got my free gift. Do you have your free well, gift? First of all, reminding you to populate that list. Share on social yeah, media. Yeah, I got one of those too. Um, I think my free gift may just be a sticker. Well, mine's already better because it's a magnet. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's a good start. But uh, it's not looking too good for you with my two up. Oh, well, I only got a one up. Ooh. <laughs> but I did get 15% off retro gaming books. Oh, that's cool. So... Brett Weiss, great books right there. I believe he's done an NES one before. Okay, okay. Ooh, ooh. Oh, well. Let's, uh, let's go for the jugular. She does like the bowl wrap. <laughs> All right, well, my bowl wrap was already better. <laughs> you can tell by the sound. I've got a Famicom game, Galaxian. Now, it is not necessarily a colored one. It's just a black cartridge. So, hey, fantastic arcade port right there, starting off strong. Well, you've got a weird little spaceshipy thingy on the cover of yours. I have something that protects America and it flies for real. I have a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> steel talons. Oh, yeah, it doesn't get much more American than having some steel talons on your bald eagle. <laughs> <laughs> I am not familiar with steel talons. This was the milk run, kid. So let's see how quickly you can do it. Could be interesting to see if it's anything like the Strike series. Round one, guys, what do you think? Arcade goodness or, or helicopter? Well, tell you what, I see your war game because I've got a Super Nintendo title with Super Conflict. Although I have to admit the cover art here, the label art, this looks like it was kind of uh, slapped together in Photoshop or something, maybe even in paint. It's a little a very, bit. Very generic. The guy's a little too clean and happy to be <laughs> a soldier. Oh, 
Yeah, well, I see your clean, happy, fake soldier and raise you a real soldier. Oh! Mm, mm, Got your good. little Medal of Honor Rising Sun here. This is some real combat. On the GameCube, look at this, guys. Ooh, and it's complete. Nice. I mean, that is something this doesn't have, but we got the booklet, both discs. I, I used to love these dual disc cases for the GameCube. I <laughs> liked how well they fit in there, and then you still had space for your memory card. Is that you? Bottom read, Marine! We need to get topside. Okay, round two, we went to war. Medal of Honor <laughs> Rising Sun versus Super Conflict. Who's, who took it in round two? That would be me. <laughs> All right, well, let's, let's lighten the mood All just right. a little, right. just a little, and go with Scribblenauts Unmasked. So this is on the Wii U. We do like getting some Wii U games. <laughs> it is complete. Now, it is DC. We're a little bit more Marvel, but you do like, you know, a couple of DC properties. I do, I do. On a journey through the DC Comics universe, along with thousands of other superheroes. All right, so you unmask story? some scribbly people. Okay, well, I'm going to unmask Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Those meddling kids. I got Scooby Doo unmasked. Well, <laughs> hey, that, that's a that's a pretty good one to put out there because you know they're gonna find out all the all the superhero secret identities and everything. So, all right, okay, all right, hey, and I like getting Game Boy Advance games because that is a fantastic system in and of itself. So, ooh. This is, this is pretty good. This is good. I only have one game left, so make yours a good one. I, I guess I'm going to phone a friend and bring in Captain Algebra with a Genesis game. <gasps> oh, no manual, though. Mm. Son of a... That was a risk. <laughs> so, yeah, Risk on Genesis. Were you a fan of... The tabletop game, Risk, did you ever play? I actually never played the tabletop version of Risk, but I did actually play, I can't remember if it was on the Genesis or the NES. So some kind of video yeah, form. Yeah, it was a video form, form, yeah. All right, fine, well I see your Sega Genesis game and I raise you my Sega Genesis game with a little blue uh, hedgehog. Oh, Sonic 3D Blast. <laughs> I love the uh, the number here for the Sega Game Secrets. Although it is a 900 number, should we call it and see what it what it rings through now? It's gonna ring Sega Head's phone house. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the only thing I have left to combat your lineup of games would be a sealed box oh. copy of World Poker Tour. Um, who are these people in the front? I don't know these people. <laughs> Something that I noticed that's very interesting is the plastic film over it. It has the ESRB rating printed on the uh, film. Yeah, that is a little weird. There's nothing else printed on the film except on the back. Yeah. Again, the the rating. Nerdlings, this is your chance to tell us <laughs> which box shone brighter. Are we going for uh, quality, possibly, or quantity? What do you think? Or maybe this is where all the quality was. I mean, you <laughs> did get a Wii U game, boxed Genesis game. Famicom, sealed Game Boy Advance. I mean, come on, that's a that's a great start to a collection. But, but right there's there. a reason it's sealed. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying someone didn't want to play this poker Did game? Did you want to play that poker game that you had as a kid? Tell you what, I have, <laughs> I have PTSD from Casino Kid on NES. There is rarely a casino game, video game that I want to play because of that. <laughs> Nerdlings, please 
let us know in the comments down below which box you would go for the Thanksgiving stuffed November box or the I don't have anything for Christmas box. <laughs> that, that, that's your call. Nerdlings, like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public. Check out our merchandise over there. Hit us up on that beautiful retro refresh website. And if we like it... We nerd it. Just maybe not always for casino games. So. so see, it's three on three. Get that, get that water graded. <laughs> or four on four. I can count. I can math. By nerdlings. By nerdlings. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Captain Algebra. <laughs> Is the plastic film over it? It has the...